Okay, we're looking at the new Milwaukee. Uh, I guess they're new. I don't. I have not seen these anywhere except for today. And the thing of it is, yeah. they didn't even have them on the shelf when I bought these. They had them in the back room, getting ready to put them up maybe next week. And uh, I bought the two they had, so I guess they can't put them up. So uh, Milwaukee's getting into all these different trades. So this would be more your mechanic trade. And so this is uh, Milwaukee's hand tool stuff. And uh, these two came from the little hardware store that I use. And uh, this did not, this came from another store. It's a big box store that I buy stuff at. Of course, everybody knows who it is, Home Depot. And uh, I try to buy what I can at the little hardware store, but they don't have their screwdriver sets and stuff all up. So I grabbed these and uh, we'll look at those in a minute. We already have one set of them. I just like to have good screwdrivers everywhere. And uh, this right here is Milwaukee's, and I have not seen this before. It's the quarter inch drive, the extended handle with a four inch arc. And it, they're smooth. Yeah, it's the, uh, the mild degrees that it swings. So you can hear it click. Yeah, the fishbow is loud, but they can hear it here. Yeah, so they, it doesn't take much to move them. That's what I like about it. And it doesn't take much pressure because see, this spins on here, but there's still, it, it takes such little pressure that it, it can rotate and click, so we're good there. Let's see if we can get these off. It's annoying sometimes, it's like when you're on. And the screw moves back and forth? And then it moves back and forth. Yeah. Okay, now this one is the, the half inch drive. It's 18 inches long. It's got a nice round smooth handle. Right here it kind of comes to a teardrop and flattens out. Got the Milwaukee logo. Oh, that. Wouldn't that look cool if they would have put paint in there? Yeah, like black or blue paint. Or red. Because that's the color of their logo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like blue bear. But uh, yeah, man, this thing sounds sweet. Of course, with their tools, you're getting a lifetime warranty. These are not made in the U.S. I have heard rumors that they're going to start making them in the U.S. This one is uh, Milwaukee Tools, USA made in taiwan so made in taiwan which i'd rather have made in taiwan than made in china so i'd rather have made in the usa they start making it in the usa i'll get rid of all my other tools and start going strictly to milwaukee icon, no, no icons china i'm pretty sure icons all china i i don't know for sure we'll have to double check but anyway i thought that was neat i did tell them they have the uh, the three eights coming. I told them go ahead and put it on my account and say that it's sold because the, one that I use most. the three eights is the one we use most. Um, we're going to use half inch underneath there to get that exhaust out. I've been fighting it with other stuff, but anyway. So there's not much talk about the two ratchets. You know, they feel good, man. They I like the look, the teardrop. I like that. It's kind of a copy on, I don't know, who's that copied? Huh? It's copying somebody that had the two screws here. I think some of the craftsmen were built like that. And then they started getting to the point they had the button here to release. I like the button to release, but it's not a, it's not a deer breaker, dill breaker. So since there's not much talk about that, I will also talk about this. Well, I mean, one of my favorite things about them is this is on and off. On and off, yes. I get those confused all the time. And, I mean, it just doesn't take a second to correct that. Oh, look, it comes with an Allen. So this extension comes with a little Allen here that won't come out because I can't get the thing apart. Give me a knife. No, I better not. 
I was gonna sand the sucker off. Let me grab a, a knife real quick. Yeah, I kind of wish there was a way to store this, Alan. So, the reason we bought this, it's kind of one of those things where you buy one thing, it turns into needing to buy 18 things. We're needing to, it doesn't matter who you use, they're all doing it. One thing I can say about, what does that say? Made in the USA. So this one from Milwaukee is made in the USA. Yeah, and I, I understand they're bringing some stuff to it. So the reason we bought this, because we need to be able to reach about eight inches into a piece of pipe to drill it out. So that turned into needing this, and I'm drilling a four inch hole through steel. So I have plenty of drills. I have more drills than people should. That's made in China. I know, son, but you have to understand too, if we get Kraftman, it's going to be made in China. A lot of them are going to be made in China. Um, a lot of it is assembled in the U.S. They, they kind of oh, yeah, misleading. Like so anyway, so the screwdrivers, I don't just pull one out because they're, they're all the same. They're kind of a hard fill. They've got a nice fill to them because of that triangle. Your hand goes around it and clamps in. At least for my size hand, it's a decent fit. Put it in your hand, see what it is? So it's not as, clamp it right there and leave one finger there. How's that feel? Oh, that feels nice. So it's pretty good. So, you know, rubber here, the black is rubber. This is a hard plastic. Um, the way they mold it together, it stays together. Haven't had any problems on them yet. Had a set of these for the old. an old set, maybe a year. Um, they seem to be pretty good quality. Lifetime warranty. what it is yeah that's nice because we have them in our toolboxes they they're standing out where you see them so that is a nice thing it, it is nice to have it yeah and we'll take the other ones out later the flatheads the phillips they have a a, a chrome plating now this is not a shiny chrome kind of a rough chrome i like that and i like that that tip's got that black stuff. It's supposed to be some kind of a grip. Um, they seem to work real well. I have not had any problems with them. And I'm coming from using mainly uh, craftsman. craftsman. Yeah, we have a ton of Craftsman screwdrivers. And the old ones, I like. You know, for 40 bucks, I'd get quite a few of them and, and run them until they just, I lose them and they fall apart. But uh, the main thing I gotta say is I like these. I wish they made these in the United States. These are getting very, very... Oh, you had a Craftman in there? Yeah. I don't think this is a real old one. It's pretty old. Made in the USA. It might be older than it looks. I've had it. Made in the USA. That was the good days. Back when they... Back when they had that made in the USA, I, I liked them because they were made here. Yeah. Okay. And having to drill the whole saw, I went ahead and bought that drill set. Now, it's not a hand tool, so I will talk about it in a minute. Oh, I will talk about it in another video. So it'll be way longer than that, y'all, because it takes me forever to edit this stuff. I know, I still have a year of uh, stuff from a year ago to edit, and that, the problem is, I get this stuff, I make a video, and then I don't get around to editing, and so it doesn't get put online, and then I'm, I kind of lose interest. It's not, it's not my best of stuff. So, also got a pack out, clear pack out, for one of the four-wheelers, and this is gonna go in the back of a four-wheeler, and we're gonna attach a um, couple of pack out stuff. We'll have a wrench set. Um, we do have an impact set. 
that is a pack out for a half oh, yeah. inch. We may end up putting that. I don't think we need it. That's overkill. But uh, yeah, man, Milwaukee's trying to take over everything. So I don't know if that's good, bad, or what. But for us, for consumers, it's good right now. But if they ever get to where they've got a controlling market, then they jack the prices up. So I want to see another company come out, you know, and have a really good product line that that fights them. The Walt's good, um, but they're just the Walt's got hand tools. I just wouldn't buy them. I don't think. I don't think the Walt hand tools are that. You find a hand tool over there? Oh, the batteries. Take, oh yeah, so their batteries take forever to charge. They, they need to put a little bit more effort into it. And, you know, maybe they will. Maybe we'll get a, a U.S. company fighting back. Maybe we'll get Milwaukee starting to buy more U.S. factories so they don't have to deal with this global shipping problem we have. So, anyway, enough of my rants. Um, there's the screwdrivers. The extension for the hose saw, the uh, two extended reach sockets. Um, yeah, we just kind of went. It's Friday, it's payday. Might as well spend it all on Milwaukee. <laughs>